People have been asking me to do this for a while, so today's video is going to be all about my setup for YouTube. So my general YouTube setup starts off with the lighting. So I'm using a Nanlite FS300 in a 90 centimeter parabolic softbox with a grid on it. And the great thing about the grid is it really keeps the light focused on my face and it doesn't really go around the set too much. Also, it falls off quickly uh, when it goes down uh, away from my uh, away from my chin uh, and onto my shirt. So you can see like right now my hand is illuminated, but as soon as I drop it down there, there's no light really. Well, most of the light isn't on there anymore. And so that just sort of keeps things very isolated. And the brightness of this light is actually dimmed down to 18%. Then I've also got another FS300 behind me on a boom with an offset strip box and a grid, and that's lighting up my hair and my shoulder. So I actually didn't intend to have the offset strip. I ordered it by mistake. A normal strip would have worked just fine. And this one does work just fine. And it's also dimmed down to about 18%. It turns out that uh, for these videos, I don't need a lot of power most of the time, but I like to have the freedom to go up higher. So you could end up using uh, the FS200 uh, or the FS150 instead. I was really happy when Nanlite sent them to me because they're replacing my Aperture 120 and 300D lights. And the problem with those lights is that you plug it into the wall, then that cable goes into a transformer, then a cable from that goes to a ballast, and then a cable from that goes to the light. And it's just a pain to set up and to stow away and you've got to make sure that you're using the right cable in the right position and it's just something that i don't really like these nanlite uh, lights are in the form of a mono light which you might be familiar with from photography and essentially the ballast the dimmer the transformer all of that stuff is all inside of the light and you just use a standard cable like you would use for any light or computer between the light and the wall and it just uh, works out great and the only thing that i left out of the lighting is that there is a v flat world v flat just out of the shot off to the side to sort of bounce back some of this light coming from the fs 300 which is lighting my face the other thing uh, that you probably can see right now in the behind the scenes image is the microphone and so this is a sennheiser 416 shotgun style mic in a wind suppressing blimp. I just keep this set up boomed over the set all of the time. Then I actually have another microphone and it's what you've been listening to and that's this lavalier, um, a Sennheiser ME2 that's vampire clipped uh, to the inside of my collar. I've also got this laptop set up here and that allows me to look at my notes and also control the main camera which is a Canon C200. And almost all of the time, I shoot my videos in RAW format. That's 12-bit RAW in 24p. I just really love the quality and how it looks. Originally, dealing with this RAW data was a bit of a pain, but I learned over time that it's not that hard to deal with, and I just really like the quality of the results. You probably are also noticing something strange on the front of the camera, and that is uh, this teleprompter, which I use from time to time, especially during Zoom calls so that I can see uh, like the person I'm interviewing and stare directly into the camera. And I'll also use it when I have a really technical video that involves a lot of numbers because I don't want to screw things up. But overall, I prefer uh, just talking off of a uh, list of notes rather than um, reading off the teleprompter, but it's always there for when I need it. And the camera is sitting on my new Zockler Active 8 tripod head and Flotec 75 tripod. The other thing is that the backgrounds in my shots are always changing. And so I was doing a gel video um, earlier today and so I've kept this set up so there's three gelled mono lights back there and uh, my mannequin head 
And uh, a lot of times I will use this movie light back here that has a 150 watt bulb in it. Somebody converted it from a lamp and at first that seemed like a really bad thing, but it turns out it's pretty good uh, as a prop in video. Anyway, guys, I hope that was all helpful and shed <laughs> some light onto uh, how I do my videos. If you have any questions or comments, just leave those below and I will talk to you soon.